Welcome to Heel Charm Shine. Today we are doing a future spouse series video. In today's video, we are doing your wedding day. So, in your wedding day, what exa how exactly that day is going to look like? We are going to try to peek into that. Try to see what the spirit guides are ready to show you about your wedding day. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope uh, uh, it resonates with you. Do let me know if it does. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you in your pal. number one so today we are seeing your wedding day how is your wedding day going to be like and whatever spirit guides want to show us about that day even any guidance uh, we will receive about that day or uh, how you can manifest that day sooner in your life so you have chosen move your body which says thank you angels for motivating me to move my body and energy so yes there are there is uh, an energy of movement an energy of excitement an energy of feeling light feeling like um, you're in that mode where you want to just have fun move a lot dance a lot enjoy a lot so let's see what more we can find out like this is just the initial part let's go for more details ah beautiful so the wedding day is some is a place this day is going to be filled with love and and we are seeing only 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 big love over here we are seeing true love we are seeing divine love we are seeing a beautiful connection this is manifestation because we can see that whatever we focus on whatever we manifest on the universe brings us that so that is what we are seeing over here so this is manifestation you are pile number one you are my magician pile so you are pile, you already have the manifestation uh, ability or you already are putting in a lot of work to bring this into reality and that is what i'm seeing over here so you might if you have a vision board if you have a dream journal or something which you use as a manifestation tools if you have put in any pictures over there about your wedding day or uh, how your future husband is going to be like or future spouses or future wife is going to be like if you have put some pictures some images some ideas like a wedding dress this is or a wedding cake or wedding celebration any uh, or a pinterest board i just heard pinterest someone is collecting images on pinterest so if that is what you are doing if you have a pinterest board or a vision board so those images are exactly what you are manifesting exactly that is how the wedding day is going to be like so the collection you have if you have not done that yet this is an opportunity Pint uh, have, getting all those images on pinterest is so easy it's it's pretty simple we uh, we are not in that era when we have to go and look for pictures we can easily find uh, what all kind of ideas whatever themes you want whatever ideas you want what the kind of clothes you want the kind of makeup you want the kind of hair you want everything is so easily available on the net now so if you don't if you have not done that yet this is right now is the is your sign for you that you start collecting that information start collecting that um that data so that uh, it will be easier to visualize it will be easier to manifest it use it as a manifestation tool even if you are not dating someone even if you don't see a wedding happening anytime soon still this is manifestation this is law of attraction why be in a negative state why wait till you get a proposal and then you start planning your wedding no don't do that there are so many people who uh, get who for whom this um, they they have this clarity in their mind that this is exactly how they want their wedding day to be uh, before they even date someone before they even have uh, a partner before they even uh, see that themselves getting married anytime soon and that is the suggestion for you as well because that is what i'm seeing over here manifesting your desire your dream whatever you love the things you love the kind of flowers you love the kind of makeup you love the kind of cake you love everything everything you love because this we can see over here this person focusing on what they love what they desire what they want and not thinking about anything which is not important for them so this is exactly how law of attraction works when you focus on your desires that is where your energy is force focused that your energy goes and that is what comes in your life and you don't have to worry about unnecessary things what happens with most of us we keep fixating on things which are not working we keep focusing on things which are not good with like um, 
I'm getting acne on my skin and I'm just focusing on my acne just my acne 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 and you just keep on talking about it you just keep on thinking about it you just keep focusing on it and it keeps increasing it keeps increasing it keeps increasing and it's a nightmare so that that is how law, that is exactly how law of attraction works the more you focus on it the more it will grow so if you're focusing on acne it's going to grow it's going to be in abundance if you focus on beautiful skin if you focus on clarity if you say that no, no, right fine i have these four five acnes but my rest of my skin is glowing my skin is so beautiful my skin is glowing it i'm radiant i'm beautiful i'm spotless i'm perfect i i am absolutely gorgeous i'm beautiful if you keep in that mode that is what is going to increase so this is what happens for most of the girls i've seen being really negative about their about their looks about their about their whatever they have and uh, even if they don't have to be negative they keep on finding stuffs to be negative even young girls even very very young girls and it it's it's pretty annoying for a person who understands law of attraction it's pretty annoying for a person who understands spirituality and the, we have to stop doing that and we have to teach our young ones also to stop doing that this is not this is not good this is not nice this is not how the universe works the more you focus on the more you get so that is what i'm seeing over here your wedding day is going to be exactly as you want so if it is like an autumn theme it will be an autumn theme if it is a winter theme it's going to be that way what if it is a destination wedding somewhere near an ocean because i can see an ocean also over here it is uni it is universe over here but i'm getting a feel of a ocean or if it is um, in the hills in the mountains whatever this whatever this dream wedding is that is exactly what you're bringing in so whatever pictures you're collecting whatever um ideas you're gathering that is how this wedding is going to be like let's see what more information comes in this about your wedding day we are focusing on the wedding day today not on the not on the partner not on the spouse on the wedding day today okay let's see let's see let's see let's see what more is coming we can see even this soul over here this person this soul is also filled with love is also there is love rotating love moving all around this person so you have to be in a piece of love to attract love you have to be in a piece of love to be in alignment with the universe that is what i see sun yes enjoy success and happiness so when you focus on your happiness when you are like this elevated when you are like this in on a high feeling good feeling um positive about everything that is what brings your dreams or that is what makes your dreams come true we have leo energy over here um, i'm also getting i'm also feeling air and water uh, leo and air water which is um, cancer scorpio pisces gemini libra aquarius so enjoy success and happiness so that is exactly how this wedding is going to be it's going to be a very happy event as i said there was a lot there is a lot of movement so it's not going to be like uh, the wedding where people are just sitting and chatting and talking to each other and being making small groups and uh, getting involved in each other there is going to be a lot of activity happening in this wedding like people are going to be together dancing having fun uh, like there is going to be a lot of laughter the maybe you the people who are going to make the speech over there maybe the parents of the bride or groom or the um, or the best man or the maid of honor or whatever whoever gives the speeches over there are going to make it really funny and it's going to be filled with laughter so there is going to be a lot of movement lot of activity lot of happiness and it's going to be a beautiful play a beautiful wedding where everybody is going to enjoy everybody is going to have fun and also everybody is going to be um f feel that this is a beautiful union or this is a this is a beautiful day and it, people are going to talk about that day even uh, after a while after after some time has passed people are going to talk about that day that uh, that was it it feels like a bit unconventional it feels like bit uh, non traditional it feels like bit um, modern bit fun it feels like uh, less 
uh, formal and more casual it feels more like a casual gathering it feels more like uh, friends and family having fun and celebrating this union than a formal uh, religious uh, ceremony it feels more like a ha like a very much fun ceremony or modern ceremony or modern take on the religious ceremony so it feels something different something which i have not seen personally uh, but if you know what this kind of ceremony is please let me know because i'm curious i'm i would really love to see a wedding like this it's very much modern it's very unique it's not at all traditional serenus life force express your driving passion sensual and sexual powers are increased so the bride and groom are going to be extremely attracted towards each other they are going to have a lot of fun there is going to be a lot of flirting lot of um lot of misbehaving also with each other during the wedding there is going to be a lot of fun lot of laughter lot lot of playful energy the entire reading is giving me a lot of playful energy uh, very much like um, teasing each other having fun with each other um just being so happy that this is happening that enjoying every minute of it that is how it's going to be and driving passion so and everybody can see that passion that craziness that um devotion that um head over heels these the the couple is uh, the, the everybody can see that for each other everybody can sense that how deep their connection is or how good they are or perfect they are for each other you bring the best out of each other you bring that wild side uh, with it well, like you bring that child out actually that is what i wanted to say more than wild i'm feeling that you bring that child out in, within each other the inner child like you both are always playing there is a lot of playful energy always playing always having fun always being in a very playful mood very casual like two best friends getting married that is what i'm feeling really really casual very casual no formal nothing um, no restrictive no formal or all fun and this and it has a very strong nature theme so this is outdoors for sure we have uh, uh, there is a nice a beautiful sunlight it's a beautiful sunny day it's a, it might be a beautiful summer or an autumn day uh, because we are having autumn uh, colors also over here so summer or autumn and it has uh, it has a beautiful su beautiful sunlight on that day so it's a very clear very beautiful bright day and uh, it's a daytime and it is outdoors it is not in some kind of so building or some kind of structure or a church or a some some uh, place uh, no it is uh, it is completely outdoors and um, it might even be uh, near a place or near a water body or near some kind of natural reserve near some kind of place where you can hear animals hear birds uh, like a bird sanctuary or something like that or you or uh, near a park or in a park so this is a place where you can enjoy nature you can see the beauty of nature and it is very much with the theme of nature and also i do feel that the thing that you are being really environmental conscious also during this wedding so you know you are not using anything uh, which is harmful for the environment you are trying to use all nature friendly friendly environmental friendly things during the wedding so even if you are serving uh, some drinks or some refreshments outdoors you are making sure that everything used over there is environmental friendly and not going to harm the harm the nature or the environment or that place any kind of um, not create any harm not create any pollution over there you're making pretty very sure about it and uh, uh, that that is important for you you might even uh, like to um, help others or mm, push others towards helping animals helping taking care of nature maybe both of you have this kind of feeling where you want to help mother nature because serenus and the nature sign these both are giving me the vibe that this is something where you love nature you love uh, environment you want to do something for it you are environmentally conscious even my this might also be a a couple who believes in a different li a, a lifestyle like veganism or vegetarianism or uh, maybe even they work for or they donate money or they 
help out or they volunteer in places which are environmental conscious or helps animals nature science be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day nature talks to us continually we need only open our hearts and minds i do feel that these uh, the couple over here are not religious at all they are either atheist or they are spiritual people or uh, they do not believe in a particular religion and that is why this ceremony does not feel religious at all this is just a ceremony uh, to make the uh, union official it does not have any religious backing i don't feel any religious backing over here i do feel that this is very much like um in how uh, the the in nat in nature also how the animals they mate for life they come together they mate for life this is very much giving me that feeling that these people have chosen each other to mate for life and they want to celebrate this union with their friends and family with very few people who are absolutely close to them it's not a crowded wedding it's not a play it's not there there are not many people in this wedding very few absolutely selective people who are really close to the bride and groom that is what that is what this is let's see what more we can find out about this very unique i've never been to a wedding like this i would really love to be in a wedding like this it's so unique so different mother mother mary so we saw mother nature and now mother mary so yes there is a lot of love for each other love for animals love for people because mother mary is a um, like she is full of love right so there is a lot of love that is what i'm seeing a lot of love a lot of passion a lot of um, kindness yes kindness that is what i was looking for compassion kindness these this couple or these this group of people which we are seeing over here they are filled with a lot of kindness a lot of compassion uh, they are, these are very sweet people who want to help others who want to take care of others who want to be they, these people can never be rude to others that is what i'm saying and they are never uh, arrogant or they are not difficult with other people so they are not materialistic people they are very much they are, these people are enlightened or these people are spiritually awakened these people have that beautiful kindness in them because for them their happiness the love is something which matters more then this is like the age of aquarius people these are beautiful people these are people who, for whom love is more important than um, materialism than wealth than show off than uh, sh trying to impress anyone else no they j they are these are really really kind and beautiful and gentle people that is what i'm seeing mother mary and the unicorns are blessing you so you have the blessing of the divine you have the blessing of whoever you believe in even if you don't believe in any religion even if you don't believe in any particular god you do believe in some energy you don't believe in mother nature you do believe in uh, some form of higher power and whatever you believe in this they the you you have their blessings you have your love has been recognized your kindness has been recognized your sweet nature has been recognized and your um, help your helping nature has been recognized and you will be rewarded for that you will be cherished by the universe for that universe does not want someone who just chants prayers or who just does religious ceremonies and all universe wants someone who can help the nature who can help others who can be kind to others who can be light workers who can be uh, who can do the work which so many messengers so many saints so many kind people have tried to do and people and instead of following their following their example people just hold on to what they might have said and create a lot of misconception from that so every most of the people have misunderstood religion and that, that is why i see this beautiful people of the group of beautiful people who are not bonded by any religious law but they are living a life of true freedom true happiness true love and uh, true devotion for each other and helping each other and that is that is the kind of freedom which universe loves too universe is free universe is not bonded it's all expansion it's all free and i do see that 
you are exactly what the universe would prefer humans to be like that this is exactly what humans should be like not following some particular set of rules which are man made but actually living the law of the nature living the law of the universe thank you so much this was really beautiful i really love to watch this this wedding in my mind i would really love to be a part of this kind of ceremony like and at least be there see this connect with people like this because this is beautiful yes clarity there is a lot of clarity like you people are clear you people are not confused you people know what you want what is your desire what is what exactly you want in your, in your life in your wedding that there, there is a absolute clarity also intelligence you both are highly intelligent sun coming twice so yes it's going to be a sunny day it's going to be a beautiful day and we can see freedom and childlike happiness and uh, being children and i did say that that you both are going to bring that inner child out from each other and being really happy look at the sunflowers over here so happy basking in the sunlight so you both are going to bask in the sunlight you both are going to have a lot of fun enjoy this wedding everybody involved in this wedding is going to enjoy this wedding this is going to be a beautiful union a beautiful connection a lot of happiness a lot of fun at least one of you is someone who makes the other other one really feel very comfortable and happy and like a child uh, if I, and i i think it can be both of you also because we have both suns over here that you have sunlight for each other you are you are, you are each other's sunshine you are each other's happiness you are each other's eternal love warmth this is complete feeling of warmth and even success this is this is not the kind of people who are struggling they are successful they are successful in whatever they do whatever their job is whatever their work is they are successful they are not struggling because we have a king over here and we have sun over here so th this is th this is not so this is not the kind of people who have to worry about others they have clarity they have intelligence they have whatever they do whatever their work is maybe they are self employed they have authority they have truth to like they are truthful with each other they are honest with each other there is no kind of show off or no kind of uh, creating a false image there is complete clarity and truthful in this connection i don't know how many people are going to resonate with this if this does not feel like you please choose another pile i have not done other piles but this was a very clear message and it might it will resonate with someone and for them i'm saying congratulations you're living a beautiful life let's see what we what alphabets or what initials are coming out have you guys watched dharma and greg it's a very funny very sweet very cute uh romedy romcom kind of show it's a beautiful show it it was on television i guess it's not there anymore but you can easily find it i don't know if it's on netflix or not you can easily find it somewhere dharma and greg so the the dharma character was so funny spiritual character and i i watched that before i dipped into spirituality so that the her her family they are do like so so funny and her um, the man she marries greg he is a lawyer and he's so analytical and complete opposite of her and how she creates so much chaos in his life that was a really funny very sweet very romantic also show so if you get a chance to watch that because when i was reading this i was feeling the energy of dharma that how dharma is and i have not seen that show for such a long time and i want to see that show again because it it's it's a very sweet show so if i find that i'm going to watch it so i was getting that energy the energy of dharma if you know that show you will understand what i'm trying to say
kindness sweetness nature helping others love that is more important than show off and wealth and materialism that is what i felt in this entire reading uh, this is what i have for you pile number 1 it was beautiful it was unique i've never seen anything like this uh, yeah i've seen it on movie in movies and in television but not in real life and i really hope to be in a wedding like this thank you again for being here i'll see you in my next one pile number 2 so today we are doing seeing your wedding day we are going to channel what messages comes out about the day of your wedding so this will be uh, about what is happening over there and less about the person you're going to marry so let's try to find out what messages comes out even if any guidance comes out pile number 1 was absolutely gorgeous and i couldn't actually uh, do a reading after that i had to take a break so i'm coming back after a small break to do your reading pile number 2 Let's see how your wedding is going to be like. So you are saying, live your joy. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. So we are already getting the word joy in your reading. Let's see what else. Forgiveness and abundance. We'll go for both. Why not? Why not? So you have been through something which was bad. Maybe even you were married before uh, this wedding. and uh, this marriage and now you have moved out of that energy you're living your joy you're living the life of your desire now as you have seen the contrast as you have seen the difficulty as you have seen the trouble now you are appreciating where you are right now even if you are single even if you are not dating someone you are feeling the freedom you are feeling joy because you have forgiven you have maybe you are my client because i do help people get out of that Uh, stuck energy into uh, more of a freeing energy so maybe you are a client of mine if you are please hi thank you so much and i love you and <laughs> uh, i hope you are doing well and um, even if you are not my client i really hope you are doing well i love you anyways so this is the forgiveness has been has already be done this is done this is gone so you have moved out of maybe a difficult relationship or a bad marriage or something which was not good for you and as you have seen the contrast as you have seen the darkness now you understand what light is now you understand now abundance what abundance means what prosperity means what happiness means because it has become very loud and clear for you now that what you want and what you don't want and now you are only focusing on what you want so you have already le leveled up or moved out of this bad energy or this difficult energy by forgiving that was the path that was the way and it is already be done and i do see this wedding something absolutely beautiful first thing which i noticed in this abundance card is that there is, yeah, that a lot of money is going to be spent on this ceremony on this wedding there is going to be a lot of jewelry involved also this also might be if you are from the um asian countries like india china um pakistan sri lanka uh, if you are from those countries in asian countries this might be the wedding the traditional asian wedding where there is a lot of um, lot of um, jewelry a lot of money uh, lo a big fat indian wedding big fat uh, child that um, my um, big um, my rich uh, asian wedding that was the movie right my crazy rich asian something like that some that that, that was a movie i i the i have seen that movie the name is skipping me so that kind of big fat prosperous abundant wedding i'm seeing that if you are from that from those culture from that country or this can also be in any other culture it can be european it can be american any other any other western culture as well what who wherever it is you're spending a lot of money on this wedding so you or your person or both of you together are spending a lot of money and making it a very very luxurious wedding the abundance card over here look at the abundance over here it's going to be a very a really luxurious wedding so this is celebration this is declaration this is like yes i've achieved what i wanted to achieve yes i've reached where i wanted to reach yes i have what i want so this is what happens when you manifest all your desires when you move forward from a difficult life when you have seen the contrast and now you're enjoying you're celebrating the present the 
or uh, the abundance you have manifested after hardship or after difficulty you do realize that living in present is more important and that is why you are celebrating this moment in a such a large way so there are going to be beautiful beautiful flowers involved into this maybe pink or red roses roses are prominent over here i do see even someone uh, might even very few of you this does does not have to resonate with all of you very few of you might even be already be pregnant when you when when the ceremony is happening now though please do not panic over this this does not have to be all of you very few some of you maybe even one of you might already be might already have conceived before this wedding like you are already pregnant in the wedding that also might i mean and people don't know about it you are concealing it very well people are not maybe it is it is very early and you are not even showing and people don't even know about it so that also might happen that you are already uh, expecting in the wedding uh, because we do have this strong fertility symbols over here or you are going to expect right after the wedding like may maybe conceive on the initial first few days of the wedding so that also might happen that you're going to conceive right after the wedding so because we have this high fertility card over here we have someone being at complete peace harmony living uh, walking down the aisle with with a very very positive and a peaceful and a grateful heart and thankful heart that thank you universe thank you divine for letting me see this day after the dark days i've seen for letting me experience this this love for letting me experience this beauty this abundance this richness this prosperity after the struggles i had so there is a lot of gratefulness so you have forgiveness and you have gratefulness both these are important to attract whatever you want to attract both these are important to manifest your dream life your dream desires so this is how this wedding is going to be like really rich so whatever wherever this wherever you are from wherever this wedding is going to happen that everything is going to be elite everything is going to be luxurious everything is going to be uh, like free for like uh, a lot of um if if drinks are served in the wedding a lot of drinks are going to be flowing like even you might even have those um champagne towers you, we have seen those champagne towers right like there are champagne towers uh, so that it also might be like that i'm seeing a lot of flow so the flow can be like those champagne towers or even uh, the the, the uh, chocolate towers or chocolate fountains so there is some kind of flow happening something flowing so maybe it is even near a, a waterfall or near a very beautiful fountain or a very beautiful ice sculpture is there in the in that ceremony in that wedding or a very unique cake is there a cake which is which stands out which is very unique something the decoration part has something which is magnificent big unique and it is um, attracting a lot of attention people are going towards it people are watching it people are saying wow this is beautiful this is this we have never seen this or this is unique or where did you get this we want to know about this uh, let's uh, we also want something like this so there is people are going to appreciate the decoration there is a lot of luxury in the decoration beautiful flowers a uh, very beautiful uh, a lot of um, expensive uh, gathering or whatever luxury or wealthy or it's oozing wealth it's oozing luxury it's oozing elite it's oozing a lot of like um peop like uh, someone has really spent a lot of money on this so maybe you come from a rich family your person comes from a rich family or you have your own money your person has your own money there is lot of money involved in this so lot of expense involved so i don't know if you are uh, into this kind of wedding or you want to have this kind of wedding if not you can see pile number 1 it was pretty different but uh, if you want something like this if you want a very loud luxurious um big fat uh, wedding then that this is exactly what i'm seeing something which people will love people will enjoy people will talk about people will appreciate and it does feel like something really really big um all, many people uh, taking photographs many people being amazed many people having um the day of their life like they are just enjoying this beautiful prosperity this enjoying this luxury enjoying this happiness this is going to happen at a very luxurious or a 
a very beautiful hotel it's a very big hotel it's a huge large hotel where this ceremony is happening where this wedding is happening it's a large huge hotel i'm seeing valets i'm seeing uh, people serve you, like a lot of staff serving you i'm seeing many rooms booked where uh, the guests are also getting ready the bride is getting ready the groom is getting ready it's it's a it's a large event i'm seeing that mm, the, the most of the staff is involved most of the hotel staff is involved in this wedding like they everybody is running here and there and everybody is making this happen in the best way possible uh, every minute detail is taken care of there might be a very professional wedding planner also a team of wedding planner also who is running around and making things happen so that is the kind of wedding which i'm seeing so this does look like a very high end wedding and um, if you are not resonating with it you can obviously check the other pile this is what i'm seeing that is what i'm saying i cannot choose what i have what the spirit guides are tell, are showing me but this does come after some kind of hardship this does come after some kind of pain this does come after some kind of struggle some kind of disappointment either in the past relationship or your own personal life your own uh, struggle with money your own struggle with difficulties or with childhood trauma some struggle was there you overcame that you forgave that you stepped out of that you came out of that victim mentality and now because of that shift you're moving towards this abundance you're moving towards this joy you are living your joy you are in a place of gratefulness now thankfulness now pure abundance now so let's see what more we can find out this is what i saw right now let's see what more we can find out oh, sh oh i'm so sorry i'll just pick that up yes pile number two let's see what more we can find out about this big fat ceremony very rich it was crazy rich asians or something right the movie it was a beautiful movie i enjoyed that movie i don't remember the name fertility 100 percent yes either you're already or you have already conceived or you're going to conceive right after the wedding maybe on the same wedding day wedding night maybe that also night you might conceive look at the rabbits over here and rabbits are fertility rabbits are that symbol of luck abundance fertility which i'm seeing in all these cards also spring this might happen during spring because we actually have the word spring over here even the lavender color which even this lady is wearing we are having the lavender or the purple color over here the scent of lavender or um, the color of lavender is going to bring luck to you maybe the bridesmaid or maybe the decoration will have this color the lavender the purple the shade of lavender the shade of purple the shade of violet the plump color because we are having that kind of plump or pink color on this over here as well so pink purple lavender plump that those colors might be the theme or the shade of that decoration of the wedding but the hair over here is does telling me and the seed grow over here does tell me that this is about fertility this is that uh, this is the card which is telling me that this marriage is going to have a child very fast very soon really really fast might even have conceive might even be expecting when you're getting married that also might happen magic manifesting so you're manifesting this and you're manifesting this because you know the contrast because you know the difficulty because you have seen the the opposite side because you have seen the dark side of this this image this this reality and now you know exactly what you want and you are putting all your efforts your energies toward manifesting that dream life your dreams visions and goals are becoming reality so stay focused so you are you are visioning this you are bringing this into reality you are making this happen and again we when we look at the god the goddess isis over here we can see that the abundance the jewelry the prosperity on her so this is like this is the, uh, an egyptian goddess an egyptian queen and we can see the prosperity and that is exactly what I'm, the bride is going to look like extremely prosperous extremely re really glowing really beautiful like the jewels are going to be shining and that is why i said asian culture um wedding this might be because in asian cultures like india like china um like sri lanka there the brides are 
wearing heavy jewelry they wear a lot of jewelry so i do feel that the bride might be wearing a lot of jewelry uh, even uh, if uh, even in the western cultures if you do wear uh, you do like wearing big jewelry like bold jewelry that that is might that is something you might be wearing or um, even the in the arab countries i do feel that they do have a lot of jewelry i'm not very sure about that i'm seeing big bold jewelry i'm seeing a lot of uh, stones a lot of diamonds a lot of gold a lot of a lot of uh, jewels like this so if you are into that or if you would love that that is what i'm seeing let's see radiance and abundance and richness and prosperity and luxury that is all this is, this is this pile is all about that this wedding is all about that and this is something which you are manifesting this is something which you are bringing in and it is going to feel like magic speak your truth thank you gabriel for look at this again again look at this i have never noticed this on gabriel before archangel gabriel is wearing some kind of crown with lot of jewels on it i never noticed it even even she has this on a on a on a hand on a arm never never i noticed this this does give me the feeling of indian bride with heavy jewelry this does give me the feeling of that kind of bride asian bride with heavy jewelry so if you are from this culture it is going to be really big loud bold like this is what i'm seeing i never noticed that on gabriel before never never i've seen this card so many times this is the first time those things are popping out to me so you uh, this is about your truth so whatever your truth is whatever you want into your be truthful when you're manifesting write what you want do not feel the the doubt or do not feel that should i ask for it am i being shallow if i'm asking for it or is this uh, really good for me be truthful what your heart desires it, it there's a reason your heart desires something be truthful with yourself your manifestation is purely yours it's pretty personal you do not have to think about anyone else when you're manifesting your dream life your dream wedding never never think about anyone else be truthful when you're manifesting no one else needs to know about it this is between you and the universe no one else so no need to hide any desire no need to hide anything no need to um, dilute any desire go for the stars reach the stars go big go loud that, that is exactly what you deserve that is exactly what you're going to get be as loud as you want be as go as big as you want don't try to hold yourself back don't try to dilute yourself don't let the old lack conditioning stop you from manifesting big things there is abundance like this in the world there is prosperity like this in the world and ev and anyone who dreams can deserve, can get it can bring it in their reality that is what manifesting is manifesting is not getting lukewarm things but going for the hot red big bold the lukewarm small minute things you can get without even putting the universe in you, you know without even dealing with the universe or co-creating with the universe you can get it with normal day to day efforts also but when you are co-creating with universe why think small go big look in a book whatever your question right now you will find the answer in a book the words you find will bring this insight you seek so if you are having a question in your mind right now how will this happen where will i meet this person whatever that question is the answer is in a book so you might have a book around something you read always or maybe if you are a religious person go for the religious book any religious book you follow any religious book you enjoy so just flip open a book and see the first thing you are you can notice in that book don't try to force anything or if you are not getting it on the first try don't keep on looking for it take a break after a while come and see again don't try to force that answer what will naturally stand out to you that is the answer let's see what the unicorns have to say 
Archangel Gabriel, what? How how is this possible? We are getting Archangel Gabriel twice. Someone's name might even be Gabriel. I do have a client who is uh, who has a person named Gabriel. So I think that client is watching this. So someone's name might be Gabriel. Number nine, number three, number twelve might be important. Number three again, call in pure white light. So you're being told to be truthful and call in from the universe. get from the universe or connect with the universe or be truthful with the universe or light white light after darkness white light after forgiveness please let me know if your name is gabriel or if you're connecting with someone whose name is gabriel or if gabriel is important for you in any way please let me know i don't know why they the both these card have come out So this is a powerful archangel, archangel of communication. So maybe this is going to be a connection where communication is deep, communication is good, communication is what you value. Maybe in your last connection that was the lack. Maybe in the last connection that is where everything went wrong because you were not able to communicate or not be able to be truthful to each other. And now that is what you value most in this relationship. also there is the the on the wedding day the the speakers who are going to speak or the uh, the song which is going to be played or any kind of sound any kind of music any kind of communication which is happening the vows which you take are going to be absolutely beautiful because we have the writer over here the you might you or your person even might be a writer because we got a book and we got gabriel we got gabriel and this is about authors this is about writers this is about storytellers this is about songwriters so you might have some kind of communication skills communication talent you might be into the publishing industry you might be an author or your person is because all these three cards are about writing about uh, literature about some kind of communication skills maybe you or your person you make money through communication through your voice through being maybe a lawyer through maybe a lecturer through maybe being an author a writer a journalist you speak some like your or you have a podcast you have a youtube channel where you speak a lot something where your voice your words matter maybe you are writing a thesis writing a paper doing phd your words matter your your communication your words are important that is why we have book we have gabriel we have gabriel somehow communication is also going to be important in the wedding be it vows be it music be a song be is be it um the speeches people give maybe it's going to be gathering a lot of a lot of people who are into communication also like if you are into the if you are a journalist you are going to bring in a lot of those people from the media industry in your wedding so if you are uh, maybe in the media industry there are going to be a lot of people from the from there in the wedding or you are a publisher or in you are an author there are going to be similar people in the wedding so this gathering is going to have a lot of people who are skilled naturally talented gifted blessed when it comes to good communication skills so the this is what i am seeing for the wedding day it's absolutely gorgeous it's really really something big loud expensive yes this is happening after look, two major arcanas i don't understand how major arcanas are coming out i'm shuffling the entire deck all the cards are here and only major arcanas and kings and queens and big cards are coming out why I don't know how what power my audience has that they are pulling out such energies in the readings. I'm amazed and I'm so thankful that I'm connecting with powerful people. So we did see a big turn, right? A complete turn from darkness to light, complete turn from unhappiness to happiness, from struggle to prosperity. So this is what I was talking about wheel of fortune a big turn so this is happening after struggle after difficulty after trouble after some kind of disappointment after a bad marriage after a bad relationship this is happening after that a big relationship ended a something major ended 
something difficult is ending and then you are stepping into this and both these cards are about a big change in your luck and also the emperor which is all about luxury all about prosperity all about big money the emperor is not playing small the emperor is mightier than the kings the emperor is an authoritative position the emperor is a father figure the emperor is that the aries the emperor is about abundance about prosperity so you are either the emperor or you are manifesting an emperor because this is manifestation card manifestation pile so you are manifesting an emperor and no wonder your wedding is so luxurious because an emperor will be able to afford this kind of luxury this is not something a page or a knight will be able to afford but an emperor can sure 100% afford such kind of luxury and no wonder this kind of luxury is coming up because this is not someone who is working for someone else this is a self employed business owner self made person a ceo or an authoritative person or someone who is making money through through their creative work through their creativity through their creative talent like an author like a like a musician like a some kind of talented person who is making money through their creativity like a script writer like a song writer because this abundance is not something which normal people can afford so that is why we got the emperor and this is after a big turn in your life a big change in your life when you forgive your past self when you forgive your past life everybody involved in your past life and you leave that behind and move forward that is when you manifest this why i am feeling that this is for my clients because many of my clients resonate with this energy this is what i can see and now let's go for some initials let's see what initials are coming out and so different from pile number 1 absolutely different if you did not connect with this do check out pile number 1 that was something else something so different that was good too it was not bad it was good too this is the fun of channeling you can see so many different things not amazed that emperor showed up not amazed the wheel of fortune showed up fortune you are moving towards fortune towards wealth towards prosperity towards abundance towards luxury and this is not some favor the universe is doing universe never does favors on anyone it is manifestation pure manifestation creating with universe making things happen please let me know if this connects with you okay so this is what i have for you pile number 2 i hope this connected with you and i hope this comes true because this was beautiful this was amazing thank you again for being here i'll see you in my next one pile number 3 so you have chosen leap of faith i'm ready to take a leap angels thank you for doing it with me we are seeing your wedding day today not your future spouse but the wedding day how it's going to be like what is it what is it going to be like pile number 1 and 2 were absolutely beautiful and very different from each other so i'm curious to know what the spirit guides are going to show us now in pile number 3 let's see what how the wedding day what is going to happen the wedding day is going to be like so we got the garden card so the garden card is all about even we'll take the luminosity card because pile number 2 also got two cards and i'm feeling that this card is also important so the gardener and the luminosity what does this talk about so the gardener it does tell me that first thing 
is that it's going to happen outdoors it's not inside a room or a building it's a, or a, a church or something it's outdoors the wedding is outdoors second thing it's uh, there is a lot of greenery this might absolute actually be in a garden or a park or some kind of uh, maybe uh, a, the large lawns where the where this the, where the, where there is a lot of greenery lot of flowers a lot of big trees so this might be that place we are having similar flowers over here in both these cards so there might be birds there might be butterflies it's a beautiful summer day it's pure summer or spring this might be spring or summer um day and the bride is and the bride and the groom they both especially the bride are going to be absolutely gorgeous luminous like luminosity is shining radiant gorgeous shining like a diamond shining like the sun over here so that is what i see and this there you might use flowers to you to um, like uh, on in your hairstyle if that is what you love so the bride might use that flowers in a hairstyle like to make something like this a crown of flowers or some kind of flowery decoration with a hairstyle like mix match mix flowers with the with the hairstyle and make it something unique something beautiful the these colors might be used like the beautiful pink over here and maybe even the radiant yellow over here because the yellow is also really prominent and this beautiful shade of red beautiful shade of pink purple these all these colors might be used in the decoration the purple color over here is also standing out and over here also the purple blue color so there these colors you might used in the decoration so i'm seeing a lot of colors i'm seeing a lot of flowers i'm seeing a lot of light lot of light lot of sunlight uh, in out, outdoors for sure i'm seeing people appreciating i'm seeing people of looking in uh, awe and looking uh, really happy about this there might even be pets involved in this in this wedding like if you you are a pet owner you are a dog uh, parent or a, a cat parent or any kind any pets are also involved in the wedding so uh, people are going to find that pretty cute as well the, the, the pets are also wearing something like they are also wearing uh, maybe a bow tie or something like that and they look absolutely cute and uh, people are going to appreciate that and people are going to love that so there this is a very nature friendly or in the nature environment uh, a, a beautiful wedding which is which is planned very well on in that in that garden in that lawn so there is going to be uh, some kind of arc which arch or some kind of uh, platform made in the made where everybody is going to look at and that platform is also be going to be made using natural things not artificial things but something something related to nature so it is also going to be covered with flowers with with branches with leaves something where the nature shines the most you cannot see artificial things like balloons or artificial decoration you are seeing the most of the decoration is related to the nature or inspired by the nature or used natural material so that and a lot of flowers are used a lot of flowers are used so this arc can be made of flowers as well so um, there are there are there's heavy flowers used and that is why the smell is beautiful over there everything smells so nice the 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 entire the entire atmosphere the air has a sweet smell because of the abundance of flower over there the the bride might be wearing something beautiful in her neck like this necklace which will stand out which people would love there is something blue over here so which is which people like to use in the wedding so maybe that is going to be something blue which is which will be used in the wedding so this is a very beautiful wedding where nature is important it's going to happen in daytime in sunlight sunlight is going to be re re like shining brightly people might even Oh, there might even be some kind of light shades in the over there like some kind of shade a little bit of some part of that place where the where people are going to sit where the bench where the chairs are there might be a very thin kind of shade on on them as well like a thin material <coughs> thin curtains something some kind of thin shade thin kind of shade on where where people are sitting because it is really sunny it's bright it might be even at, at a tropical place like 
uh, near the beach near uh, some kind of tropical environment like in thailand like in uh, hawaii some uh, like bali some kind of that tropical energy is also coming over here where where ocean is important where um, the where you can see a lot of greenery plus ocean where you can see greenery plus um, this a beautiful beach and a, and have and a lot of sunlight so that it might be that kind of location as well the, and uh, there are a lot of animals around like uh, in, like butterflies or, or uh, birds or even your pets uh, maybe um, you allowed even the guests to bring in pets because you really love animals so there are going to be animals involved as well the music is going to be very soothing and very very much uh, in line with that place so if you are in hawaii so it's going to be hawaiian music if you are in bali it's going to be that music balin music so it's going to be very much in um, resonating with that place so this is very much you're celebrating that location with your wedding you love that area you love that place so the people who are visiting there are also in that vacation mode in that travel mode they are also enjoying they are also happy they are celebrating with you they are they are very happy to be there because they got a chance to visit that location because of this wedding you planned because of this uh, idea you got or because of this celebration you are having this is not your regular place this is not a city place this is a, a vacation place this is a place where uh, with, this feels like a paradise which people like to visit where people like to go, go for a break where people like to f escape from their regular life that that kind of paradise is feel like feels like so that is where this look this place is going to be like this will not be a very religious ceremony it's going to be a uh, a uh, Natch of what what I wanted to say a casual ceremony, not pretty religious. So it's not inside a church or something a religious building. It's in it's in the net natural environment, and it's going to be like a, a simple ceremony, a very simple ceremony, and being mindful about the environment over there, not being loud, not being. Uh, wasteful not uh, being not polluting not creating trouble for the locals over there but being mindful with the, the environment being mindful with the with the place with the location this also might be the lawn or the garden of the hotel where you are staying so the hotel where you you and your guests are staying this might even be the lawn or the garden of it and the hotel staff and the the people who work there are going to help you with the planning with the wedding and it's going to be something oh, sim simple serene uh, where the nature is respected and where the location is respected and something calm something peaceful and something you always wanted something you were always interested in and the and the inner light your inner beauty your happiness because you're really happy this is a wish come true is shining through you and your that is why your skin is so radiant that is why you're feeling so like radiant so beautiful just like shining like a diamond over here so we got destination wedding theme for you that is what i'm seeing for pile number 3 let's see what we can what more we can find out medicine mother why does this card keep coming for pile number 3 some a doctor is watching this i'm going for another card because this card keeps coming again and again a doctor always picks pile number 3 so medicine mother is coming high priestess and she wolf very powerful cards that is why i'm going for both of them so the chi she wolf although, although it has a full moon but i do feel that this is going to be a day wedding but this might be a full moon time during the full moon near the full moon it is going to be a day wedding but near the full moon like the full moon was before or after the wedding something like that so the near the full moon time so this is something which you are dreaming about which comes in your mind again and again especially during the full moon you get this in information this intuition this ideas this you're connecting with this energy you are calling out to your soulmate you are calling out to the divine you're calling out to 
um, the universe for bringing this into your life if you have not already have this person in your life then you're calling out to the divine to bring this person and this is a relationship which will be forever relationship because we have wolf over here wolf mates for life so this is going to be a forever relationship also a very protective relationship highly 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 protective relationship a dream come true a wish come true and luminosity is shining on the full moon also so i do see radiance absolute radiance gorgeous radiance on uh, on on the on the bride's face as well as the groom's face absolute radiance unleash the wild within and now let's go for the high priestess as i said animals are going to be involved so cats dogs pets are going to be involved in this wedding so high priestess harness mystic power so or you're good you're living in that location where there are animals around where you know it's an animal century like uh, you you're visiting south africa maybe and in south africa you are in a location where you know that there is nature natural reserve nearby there you can hear animals you know animals are there and uh, you are going on safaris and you're visiting that and that in during that trip during that vacation you're getting married as well so that that also might be the thing because i i'm seeing a lot of animals i'm getting a sense that somehow animals are involved in this high priestess harness mystic power so the cat spirit also talks about independence it talks about confidence so yes you are confident that you can manifest this you are confident that you have the ability to bring this into reality you have this high spiritual energy within you that you do not want anything mediocre you do not want anything which does not resonate with you you do not want to compromise or adjust you want to go for the best and you are going to get that so the confidence is shining through uh, the independent nature the fierceness is shining through also this is going to be a very respectful a very very respectful relationship because wolf and cat they ha are very they uh, have high health uh, self respect self worth dignity so both of you are going to respect each other a lot maybe both of you are doctors because we have the medicine mother over here or your mother is going to connect you or um, somehow the mother is going to be highly influential for the wedding like the mother is planning the wedding or something like that so a mother is important either your mother or their mother is some playing a major role to bring this wedding into reality your inner knowing so you already know that you can deserve you deserve this or you can bring this into reality let's see what more we can find out also the crown the flower crown or some kind of crown is going to be we have three four four women with the with different kind of crowns wear crowns so it can be a flower crown or it can be some kind of crown like someone is wearing some kind of crown or uh, something on their head some kind of head decoration is going to be is going to stand out in the wedding some kind of decoration on the head like a head covering a veil or uh, the hair hair hairstyle something is going to be standing out yeah something is going to be standing out with over the head hair covering is going to be important uh, whatever this is a veil crown some decoration some style whatever it is it's going to be important or, or, or the part of a wedding it can also be a part of a ritual a part of a wedding that you have to wear something on your head on your forehead or your head Asc a surplus bay ascension move into your true self rise above the darkness the light is here so yes a lot of light a lot of sunlight during the sunlight so yes there is going to be a radiance first of all we can see radiance on this this face also so there is going to be radiance and there is going to be a lot of light people are going to be so this is a very sunny place this place is this place is not a place where there is uh winter or rain and all um, there might be rain but a very 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 sunny place like the summers are really hot over there really like like egypt like africa like even some parts of asia that kind of summer we have egypt over here so this might even be in egypt but i i don't know why animals are showing up Egypt, Africa, Bali, Hawaii. 
these are the locations which I'm which I'm sensing. Again, medicine. Again, divine divine physician, medicine, medical, something related to healing, so, some kind of healer, some kind of doctor, practitioner, so, someone who practices medicine, someone who is any kind of healer, a natural healer, something related to medicine is coming. The divine physician, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. So maybe this is also going to be a medical retreat. That also might be there. Like this place is known for its medical retreat, medicine retreat, medicine, medicinal benefits of visiting this location or going to this location. If you know this, please let me know. I'm curious. Or you or your person is into the medical field or both of you are. Please let me know if it is a medical retreat. Wait for winter. So we did see summer, but this might even be winter. But this place is so sunny that even in winter there is no snow over there or it's not too cold. Even in winter. So Africa, Egypt, Asia, there are places in the world which doesn't get that cold during winter. So this might be that place or you might get some information during winter and the wedding is happening in the summer because i'm seeing summer bright and clear over here so winter might be only when the proposal happens or you get some information wait for winter during the coldest colder months the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intention are for the highest good of all so intention should be clear when you are manifesting this into reality do let me know if medicine is something important or med you this is related to some medical field or doctors or physicians or any kind of healers mystery explore the unknown the unexpected awaits you yes this is not a place which you know like this is this is a new location this is a new place and number three is coming full moon is coming so it is going to happen during a full moon the wedding is happening during a full moon in daytime so maybe uh you the full that it is the full moon uh, night on that day and during daytime you're going to get ma get married so the full moon is very important for you even you might get some download some connection during full moon some vivid dreams during full moon also this place is not something which you have been before this is a new location this was a dream location which you always wanted to go and now you're going there for the wedding so this is place is going to be mysterious it's not something which you have explored before and you are enjoying exploring this place with your person and with your guests exploring this place finding out about this place yes you're going somewhere it's you it's not where you are even the full moon over here there are two moons but i'm feeling the full moon energy so you are moving somewhere you're going somewhere this is not where you are this is not in your city and the family entire family or the guest whoever is going to come to this wedding are going to be very happy with this they uh, they are enjoying this this is like a dream come true for all of you like uh, maybe the end everybody wanted to go to hawaii everybody wanted to go to bali everybody wanted to go to egypt so everybody is very happy about this this plan this local this situation this destination everybody is enjoying that everybody is having fun uh, people are laughing dancing people are um, having the best time people are enjoying exploring this place people are going uh, all over th the places and having fun so this is obviously not during the wedding time but uh, before after the wedding when people are absolutely enjoying this entire thing so it's not only one day we are seeing over here it is that uh, that time of maybe a week or maybe maybe more than that 10 days or a, a fortnight where you're going to spend it in this destination that is what we are seeing so not only one day we are seeing this entire trip this entire vacation in which you're going to, in which you're planning this wedding in which your friends your family are having a wonderful time so there is a lot of love lot of happiness lot of um, everybody coming into alignment everybody feeling peaceful everybody feeling grateful even greece i heard greece this might even happen in greece i just heard greece so i don't know if greece resonates with you please let me know so everybody is having fun everybody is enjoying 
people are coming together after a gap so maybe you people uh, your family your friends your guests live far away not in the same city and they all are coming together for this celebration for this vacation and they all are pitching in they all are having fun they all are enjoying this this day so a big destination wedding that is what i'm seeing where you and your friends and family are going to have a wonderful time let's see what the initials come up for you so the planning might start in winter this will need a lot of planning many people going to a location going to some maybe a foreign country so this will need a lot of planning lot of visas lot of approvals so that is why the planning might start in winter and then the wedding will happen in summer something like that getting everybody on board making everyone come together a cruise also might be involved bringing everyone together so this will need a lot of planning and maybe the mother is going to step up for this planning does look expensive also because this this kind of wedding will need a lot of expense So this is what I have for you pal number 3. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Thank you again for being here. I'll see you in my next one.